Ishak, religious fundamentalists in the US have dealt a major blow to the rights of women and all oppressed groups through the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The opinion of one of the judges, Clarence Thomas, himself accused of sexual harassment, indicates that contraception, same-sex marriage and even same-sex relationships are next in the targets of the religious right. Trans rights are also under attack, not only in the US but increasingly from the media in this country, despite the very widespread public support for trans rights. In Ireland, it's the Catholic Church that has cast the longest shadow over the human rights of women and LGBTQ plus people. Uh, presiding over denial of contraception, abortion rights, gay and trans rights and same-sex marriage. Taoiseach, the best way to defend the rights of women and LGBTQ people in this state is by finally separating church and state. Uh, will you support the abolition of the three-day wait, the 12-week limit, the full decriminalisation of abortion? Will you kick the church out of our schools and our hospitals? At a very minimum, will you support the passage of our objective sex education bill through committee stage to ensure objective, LGBTQ plus inclusive sex education in all schools? Deputy Boyd Barrett and Deputy Paul Murphy again really raised issues in relation to uh, Roe versus Wade. I did make the point earlier in the House that Roe versus Wade, there are two fundamental issues. One, in this country we have a referendum process, which is key. Um, I would say in relation to, and also we shouldn't politicise the jury ever, the judiciary ever, and that's what has happened. That there, I think the separation of powers has broken down to a certain extent in the United States, to the degree to which people are appointed under politics and how far right they are under the Trump presidency. Uh, was a factor here, um, and we need to be very careful that we need separation of powers and we don't politicise the judiciary. That's the real lesson from Roe versus Wade. Plus the fact that we have a constitution that's far better in terms of referendum by the people. Um, and um, I would finally say that in relation to fetal uh, fetal abnormalities, um, that we do need to be careful about that. Uh, and we do need to make sure that what we committed to in the referendum and in the legislation is followed through both ways. You do need to take proper account you know, and, and, and have proper assessment. And I know of a case where that went wrong. I'm sure you must know of it as well uh, and has been raised, uh, where, where, where on, on the face of it, the proper assessments didn't take place. Um, uh, and a baby that was fully healthy, w w w the pregnancy was terminated. Thank that you, happened. Tom you know, and I met the parents concerned. And okay. So it's not, these issues are never clear. Um, and we should make sure that the legislation is there for a reason and it should be followed through, including the need for two doctors to sign. Thank you. Um, that's very important, Deputy, and I wouldn't be as dismissive of that as you Th seem to be. Thank you, That concludes.